Workers' Comp, frequently asked questions. What qualifies as a work injury? An injury that occurs at work, or an illness or disease caused by your job. It does not include any kind of injury of a self-inflicted nature nor does it include any injury that occurs while an employee is under the influence of drugs or alcohol. Can I file for benefits without an attorney? This may be an option under circumstances where you suffered very minor injuries and your employer's insurance is 100% cooperating with you on a claim. Otherwise, you may find yourself surrounded by quite an alarming situation. It is always best to play it safe when it comes to this kind of situation to avoid any kind of conflict or delay. When am I covered by workers' comp? You're covered beginning on the very first day of work. How much will I receive from workers' comp? The wage loss benefits you receive will be equal to approximately two-thirds of your average weekly wage, up to a weekly maximum. May I sue my employer in the wake of an accident? If your employer doesn't have workers' comp insurance, it is likely illegal and you can surely request that we look into suing them if you got hurt on the job. Can I sue the party responsible for my injury? There are cases where you can file a civil suit to sue a third party who is purportedly responsible for the injury. Who will pay my medical bills? The employer and insurance company will be responsible for taking care of your medical bills. These shall include reasonable medical slash surgical services, as well as things such as medication, orthopedics, and prostheses. Can I collect social security, unemployment, and disability benefits? If you're eligible, then you can certainly collect these benefits, although there will be a reduction in your workers' comp benefits. Do I need to go to the company doctor? If your employer has accepted your claim and posted a list of at least six physicians in your workplace then you must choose one from the list for initial treatment. For at least 90 days following the initial visit, you must continue to attend treatment. If I'm injured on the job, what should I do? If this, unfortunately, happens to you then please report the occurrence to your supervisor slash employer immediately. What is a lump sum settlement comprised of? Some employees receiving workers' comp can elect for a lump sum settlement amount to pay for unreimbursed medical expenses and any other amount that comes under dispute. There are quite a few angles to consider and we can help you mull this over if you're unsure of what to do. How long will it take to receive my workers' comp benefits? The answer to this question is completely dependent upon your unique circumstances surrounding the case. By contacting Friedman Lorry, we can examine everything involved and give you a good expectation of what will occur. What do I do if I'm on workers' comp and return to work? When returning to work in any capacity, light duty or your normal routine, do not sign any documents without speaking to an attorney first. A good faith attempt at the job is required on your behalf, however, if you experience any pain you must notify your doctor immediately and follow his slash her directions. The law firm of Friedman & Laurie, call us today.